Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Caleb here, back with another video. Today, we're asking the question Where is Little Uzi Vert and where is the pink tape? Now, as you guys know, it's been a full year since Eternal Tape dropped. It dropped in March of 2020. And since then, we've got Little Uzi Vert vs. The World 2. And we also got Baby Pluto x Pluto, or Pluto x Baby Pluto. And also a handful of teases from Uzi talking about, you know, the real Uzi coming back. Or Forever Young and now the pink tape. Now I think the pink tape is going to lead it to Forever Young honestly But all of this is going to lead to Uzi sounding like he used to sound back in the golden year of 2016 I mean we even got teases of 1629 from both Uzi and Cardi But the difficult part about that is they've been teasing that forever Even when Uzi and Cardi were not beefing so for me to believe it's going to drop anytime soon I just don't believe it, you know. I don't believe 1629 is dropping anytime soon, especially with Cardi dropping another album, Narcissist, soon, and Uzi's gonna drop this pink tape and it's gonna drop Forever Young. So they're both worried about themselves. Usually, how it goes is an artist will announce the tape with another artist, but nine times out of ten, that usually does not happen whenever they tease a collab album. I mean, there's rare occasions, like of course, like I just said, with Uzi and Future, Uzi and Gucci Mane, but those are only two that we've gotten over the past four or five years. So given all this said and all that has been teased, you can understand some people have been pretty impatient with Uzi, who actually seems like he's getting himself in shape. He's been in the gym, working out, going crazy. Like it seems like Uzi's always been skinny for him to get in shape is a pretty big deal. But also seems like he might be having a baby with his girl, JT, which just a lot of stuff going on Uzi, a lot of stuff, right? So my problem with Uzi is not that he hasn't dropped any music. I mean, honestly, if he wanted to sit this year out and just wait till 2022 to drop another album, I'd be totally fine with that. I mean, the better the music's going to be and hopefully it doesn't get leaked again like Eternal Take did. But however, what I have a problem with Uzi about is that Uzi is constantly teasing all these other projects when there's no way he has time for all of that and they're recording all of that at once. There's no way he's doing that. It's just not happening. If anything, I believe we're getting the pink tape and that'll be it for this year. And then we'll get, of course, Forever Young. But whatever we get, man, we need Uzi back for real. Now, Uzi even said the Eternal Tech himself was mid. And, you know, I'm biased. I have no problem admitting that. So, of course, when I listened to Eternal Tech for the first time, I was over there just going crazy because I was enjoying myself. But was it his best project? Probably not. Probably not. But my God, if we had got the original Eternal Take that we were supposed to get, man, this, this would be a totally different story, bro. This would be a totally different story. But one thing I really just realized, bro, like, and some people might not even look at this like the way I look at it, but, uh, you know how Trippy Red had dropped a song with Uzi called Holy Smokes. Like, then they dropped a music video, and I seen Uzi and Trippy on the screen at the same time for the first time, which was crazy to me, because I never thought I would see that. But every time I'm looking at that video, bro, I'm looking at Uzi, and Uzi looks like Trippy's OG, like, legitimately, so... I'm looking at that and I'm just like, man, even though he dropped in 2020, it seemed like we were really missing Uzi at that point because Trippy has been so productive and, you know, he's been compared to Uzi constantly. Uh, Trippy had been compared to Uzi like numerous times, uh, but Trippy been so productive over the past, I want to say three or four years where Uzi has not been dropping very much. And while I don't necessarily believe that it's true, it seemed like Trippy was kind of taking Uzi's spot for a bit, at least for me, as far as uh, needing something every year like that. So I feel like we really, really need Uzi right now. I mean, you sit back and look at what Trippy's doing ever since 2017, maybe dropping two projects a year, um, Max, and then he moved on and kept doing the same thing. Whereas Uzi in 2017 dropped Love Is Rage 3, stopped for about three years, 
for almost three years, not a full three years since he didn't go August to August. But while Trippy and others are not yet on Uzi's level, it still seems like they're kind of slowly but surely taking over. Slowly but surely, like imagine if Juice World really got going to the point where he was he was on Uzi's level. I see he could have easily done that. X possibly could have done that. X obviously he combated Uzi whenever he dropped Love Is Rage Three. So it could have been a whole lot crazier than it is right now. But obviously people are gonna be with Uzi regardless. I mean the fact that he dropped three years later, uh, and he still did the numbers that he did for his that that's the biggest numbers he ever did for an album was Turn On Take. And people still cared about Uzi then. That's crazy. It shows you how strong the fan base is, but for me and myself, I feel a little bit greedy right now. I do want more Uzi, like soon. Especially when you consider Playboy Cardi's probably about to drop another album before Uzi drops an album. Think about that real quick. Cardi that didn't drop for two years is not gonna drop a second album before Uzi. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. And I'm honestly still waiting for him to come out with an official Tunnel Tech tour because I saw that stage. That stage looked pretty raw. I want to see that live in person. But as always, I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, are we really missing Uzi right now? Because he's he ain't dropping, um, at least not this month, obviously, because the 24th when I'm recording this, he's not going to drop at least until October or November at the max. And I can honestly easily see him doing the same thing he did with Love's Rage 3 and the same thing he did with Eternal Take that I even predicted would be the same thing he did with Love's Rage 3. And that's to do with surprise drop, but maybe not for the pink tape, maybe just for Forever Young, but what the way to see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see the rest of you guys later. So you're telling me you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet? Bro, what are you waiting for? We got Travis Scott. We got Juice World. We got Trippy Red. We got Lil Uzi. And we got Public Cardi and some more of your favorite artists. So what are you waiting for? I'll wait.